Good day, everyone. I'm Engineer Mary Jane Mandan, and I will discuss to you the Material Science and Engineering or Mechanical Engineering Module 1. Yes, once again, this is Material Sciences and Engineering for Mechanical Engineering. I'm your instructor in, uh, in this subject, Engineer Mary Joy Mandane. And today for our module one, I will discuss to you the nature of materials. So let's begin with this importance of materials. Can you comment down below what are the importance of materials? Especially as mechanical engineering, we do know that we really need a proper material for a specific product. For example, this car. Okay, this car. Um, before this finished product, kailangan meron tayong proper materials. Then, sa proper materials, pag meron na tayong proper materials, then we will proceed to manufacturing processes. Then after manufacturing processes, before actually before finished products, meron pa yung uh, appropriate designs and whatever. Um, there's a lot of uh, processes before magkaroon tayo ng finished product. But before that, ang palaging iko-consider muna ay yung materials. Now, materials basically means anything that characteristics identity recognizable by the two senses of sight and touch, but today it is more commonly used as a shortening of material of construction or material of manufacture. We have elements of material science and engineering. First is the properties or phenomena that make a material interesting or useful. Is it useful? Is your material is really useful? Uh, second, let us consider the performance, the measure of usefulness of the material in actual conditions of the application. Third is the structure and composition, which includes the arrangements of as well as the type of atoms that determine properties and performance. That's why we have several testing to the materials before we will consider it na isasama siya sa finished product or manufacturing. Number four is the synthesis and processing by which the particular arrangement of atoms are achieved. Okay. As you can see in the figure, the four elements of material science and engineering, which is really important. Of course, we have the synthesis, processing, structure, composition, properties, and performance. So just uh, take note of this four elements of material science and engineering. Okay. Material science and engineering, this is the study of the structure and composition of materials on scales ranging from the electronic and atomic through the microscopic to the mass macroscopic. Another, uh, it developed new materials, improved traditional materials, and produced materials reliably and economically through synthesis and processing. And lastly, it seeks to understand the phenomena and to measure material properties of all kinds and they predict and evaluate the performance of real materials as structural or functional elements in engineering systems. So yung mga material sciences natin and engineers, material engineers, uh, they need to seek and to understand the phenomena and to measure the material properties of all kinds.
Okay, when it comes to engineering materials, it refers to the group of materials that are used in the constructions of man-made structures and components. The primary function of an engineering material is to withstand applied loading without breaking and without exhibiting excessive deflection. So that's why it's really important if um, you structures and components of the materials. That's why we're studying it right now here in mechanical engineering. Since we are working in the machine, so therefore it's really important lalo na yung mga sa heavy equipment kailangan makita natin kung gaano ba siya ka strong that's why we have a lot of comp computations about this engineering materials we have major classifications of engineering materials first and the most common uh, material classification which is the metals and metal alloys are especially common and they are formed by combining a metal with one or more other metallic and or non-metallic materials the combination usually occurs through a process of melting mixing and cooling the goal of allowing is to improve the properties of the base material in some desirable way metal alloy compositions are described in terms of the percentages of the various elements in the alloy where the percentages are measured by weight so we have different uh, kind of metals first is the ferrous alloys and sub sub, sub yeah under the ferrous metals is the carbon steel low alloy steel tool steel stainless steel and the cast iron second is the alumni aluminum alloys third is the nickel alloys fourth copper alloys and five is the titanium alloys And the second major classification of the engineering materials, the polymers. Polymers are materials that consist of molecules formed by long chains of repeating units. They may be natural or synthetic. Many useful engineering materials are polymers, such as plastics, rubbers, fibers, adhesives, and coatings. Polymers are classified as thermoplastic polymers thermosetting polymers, thermosets, and elastomers. Again, here's the three polymers, which is the thermoplastic polymers, thermosetting polymers, and the elastomers. Next, major classifications of the engineering materials is the ceramics. Ceramics are solid compounds that may consist of metallic or non-metallic elements. The primary classifications of ceramics includes glasses, cements, clay products, refraction, refractories, and abrasives. Ceramics generally have excellent corrosion and wear resistance, high melting temperature, high stiffness, and low electrical and thermal conductivity. Ceramics are also very brittle materials. So once again, ito yung mga sample of the ceramics, the glass, the cements, clay products, refractories, and the abrasives. Another major classification of engineering materials is the composites. A composite material is a material in which one or more mutually insoluble materials are mixed or banded together. The primary classes of composites and particulate composites, fibrous composites, and laminated composites. Again, uh, under the composites, the particulate composites, fibrous composites, laminated composites. Okay, so it's a very short discussion lang naman yung kanina, just a description and um, some 
of it are just definitions. Now, for your individual activity, since nakita niyo na, nalaman niyo na kung ano yung about the engineering materials, now, get your notebook and write the answer on your notebook. Then, scan or picture your uh, your answer, then send to Google Classroom. This is the deadline. The deadline will be on the February 20, 2021. is Saturday. Just give the definitions of the following. We're just uh, familiarizing this uh, these topics. Uh, uh, the ferrous alloys, aluminum alloys, nickel alloys, copper alloys, and titanium alloys, which is under the metals. The thermoplastic polymers, thermosetting polymers, and elastomers, which is under the polymers. Glass, cement, clay products, refractors, and abras abrasives, that's which is under the ceramics. And the last uh, major com classifications of the engineering material, which is the composites. Under that is the particulate composites, fibrous composites, laminated composites. So that is your uh, individual activity that you need to send on February 20, 2021. So you need to uh, search for the definition of this and you need to understand about this uh, specific um, specific metals, uh, uh, polymers, uh, ceramics, and the composites. So that's all. And for your, uh, and for ad, uh, for the next module, please like and subscribe the YouTube videos and Facebook page for the updates. Thank you and God bless you guys. Bye.